Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and it is Tarot Time with Cindy. I'm going to do an open collective message for you all. I'm hoping it resonates. That's great if it does. I'm glad we connected. If it does not resonate, then hopefully next time, my friends. But let's get started here. All right, I am going to pull out more cards, but I'm going to get started in this right now. Um, okay, I'm getting a message here that, um, like whoever this is going to resonate with, that it looks like um, you've, I kind of want to say you've probably always been someone who's quite spiritual, quite spiritually minded. Um, someone who also has probably like really strong intuitive abilities of your own. Um, you know, you kind of often may make decisions that may not even to you make sense sometimes, but you do them and you're just like, you know, what? I just feel like this is what I really need to do. Um, you've gone down one of those paths here. And what's really interesting is I feel like you're, you're starting to draw in new energy towards yourself. Um, you're right now you're showing up actually as a master number so you're actually showing up as a master number 33 and you are the key so you are the key to something which also tells me that you have the capacity to start opening up possibilities for yourself that were not um things that you could open before or they were not possibilities that um you would even imagine like you know even conceive of these you're also there's an energy here um of harvest now what's really interesting because there's an energy outside of you that's coming across as a masculine and it's coming across as a mr smith so in this deck this is the um the lace of destiny oracle deck that i happen to be using right now to get the reading started um in this deck, there's a stranger, there's a, a male and female stranger, and there's a Mr. and a Mrs. Smith. And the Mr. Or, oh, you see the Cardinal has come into the bird feeder there. Um, the Mr. Oh, the both of them are there, the male and the female. Whoa, that's crazy. Okay, because the context of this reading is your feminine energy, which is also interesting. The context of this reading is your feminine energy, woman. Um, this and there's an energy outside of you that you're somehow connecting with. Now, I'm going to try the best that I can to describe what's going on between these two energies, but it's very spiritual, very, very spiritual. We're also pulling in like this Pisces energy here um, to kind of like ground the reading, which again, it's almost like a yin and a yang. Like if I look at the imagery here, it's like a yin and a yang. Um, now it's funny because that male cardinal he's been bopping around oh and there he is again this is like an energy that is somehow connected to you it's maybe an energy that um kind of moves in and out of your life maybe quite obviously or it moves in and out of your life um in ways that you may not realize okay it's an energy that you are at least in some part familiar with you may only be familiar with this energy in sort of like a mister <laughs> no a mister a mister i just heard the band mr mister <laughs> no it's not even a song of theirs coming in but mr mister that's a band from like the 80s or something right i wonder if there's like a song or there's a story about the lead singer that is somehow maybe relevant to you that's odd i've never had like just a band come in um but so this energy outside of you it's mr smith so there is some familiarity with the energy but it may also only be in a formal context now the way these two energies are interacting you have the key you are the key now 
Mr. Smith's energy is creating the tree of life through your energy. Your energy through Mr. Smith's energy is creating autumn, which is the harvest. And to me, it's like the harvest from the tree. So my question here is, are you predating anyone's energy? Okay, and just as a tarot reader, right? Um, I wanna check that out. You may or may not be. You, you have the key to something here. You've tapped into something and I feel like you've tapped into it in a very spiritual way. You may have tapped into this person. You may even be tapping into your own masculine energy and you are not 100% familiar with it. So it would be kind of like in a more formal. You understand it more formally. You understand it more in perhaps um, like, uh, I want to say, um, you know, if you've read, you've read or you studied about masculine energy as opposed to like the difference between like going to school and learning something in a book and then applying it in a really practical hands-on manner you may not have a hands-on familiarity with this masculine energy um i have to pull out tarot but i honestly like this mr smith the mr and mrs smith are um good energies like okay how i would describe them if you remember i don't know maybe you still have them where you live but i don't think they have them anymore i think because like creepy people found ways to get access to this um they were what was it called they, people used to have them in their window and it was um oh, it was a safe place for you to go do you guys remember what those were i can't remember what it was called it was like a safe place that you could go this person was checked um I guess by uh, social services or something and they didn't have a criminal record like if a child was in danger they could go up to that door I can't remember what that was called there's something like I'm just getting that with this energy and it also like it's also the same for the Mrs. Smith energy um it's like safe it's okay but like right you're somehow you're harvesting from this tree for some of you I mean this could be someone that you but it's formal I mean, maybe you are, maybe you are the Mrs. Smith to the Mr. Smith. And there's a key, you have a key perhaps to this person's heart. You have a key to um, something about this person and the path in their life. This is a really big solid tree though. I feel like you're triggering something in an energy that you swim in and out of or with someone. There's some type of energy here that you swim in and out of with another person and you're getting the harvest. You have the key. It feels incredibly spiritual, particularly with the tree and then um, this. This this and the woman came come from the shadows of the Middle Ages. Before I turn the camera on, I just sit down and I ask Give me context. Give me a base context for this reading. And then I pull the rest out. Um, and it was woman with Pisces. So this could even be, some of you could even be um, a woman and be Pisces. Uh, maybe some of you are even seeing yourselves as the Mr. Smith. And this reading is about a woman who is a Pisces or someone who is quite spiritual. Um, quite spiritual. Yeah. But I see, right, like it, Pisces does have like a dualistic nature. I mean, I've only seen it a few times reading different things. Um, to me, Pisces, though, is the energy that when I sit down to do a Pisces reading, I don't know what I could step into. Like I could step into them almost showing up as any zodiac sign um, because, you know, they kind of, they're at the end of the zodiac. And I feel like this is like almost a yin and a yang energy that's being presented here. And I really feel like there was something symbolic about the male and female cardinal. They have never come to these feeders on the, the windows. They're always like out by the bushes. Okay, you were the key. The Knight of Wands. Give me more of your Knight of Wands. Your energy is the key. Your energy is the key. So as I say that too, um, 
right? Like it feels like there's almost a symbiotic relationship here where this tree won't produce any fruit unless, um, right? Like it's pollinated. It's almost like, yeah, so you're the key to pollinating this tree. And then you receive the fruit. It's really kind of beautiful. Like it gives the tree purpose, right? And it allows the tree to fulfill what the tree is meant to do. And so the tree rewards you with harvest. This is an incredibly beautiful um, spiritual energy here. Wow, okay. Wow, you don't even know. Okay, yeah. There's something with your energy, like it has, I want to say with the Knight of Wands, like it almost to me feels like, you know, like when it pollinates the tree, it's just like the drive and the instinct. You could, it could almost be defined as like a little, a little bumblebee or honeybee or something that flies around. Um, and you are exercising and, you know, it's really funny because feminine energy is you know described as more um of a complacent energy that sits back um and just and would receive but if you think about the insect world like well, like 99 percent of of bees and ants they are female but they are active right and yet you could say like the bumblebee is not aware of what it's doing in terms of its process it is just doing and it is going to the trees and it is pollinating through the flowers. But then it's almost like you can see, you can see the fruit of your labor producing here. Okay, you can see the fruits of your labor producing. But it's almost like maybe you don't know where the fruit is coming from. And let us say you don't, if you don't, you will. There's the moon, the wheel of fortune into the sun. Now again, I know that's a, this is part of your autumn energy. And you have like yin and yang right here. You have moon and sun. It's going from, you know, night to day as well, like a sense of night to day mystery into clarity there's an important drive that's required an important instinct that's required to pollinate the plants but then when it comes time to harvest like it is literally like you move into the right energy to do that each day you got to go out there and see which ones are ready to be picked and then you got to go back and maybe you, if you end up too much of one thing you got to start preserving it like you have to have a plan here and what you're going to do with this it's kind of like your energy is like right on target oh wait a second the last collective of reading i did had something to do, was like right on target because this energy is literally right on target and it's to harvest I'm curious, like, I'd really be curious in the comment section, like, do you know who or what this masculine energy is? It's very, very earthy energy, too, because it has the tree. Um, there's something about, like, this tree, though, is unable to move. Like, you almost need to come to the tree, like, right? Like, it's this idea of what will come and create fertility, this energy receives yours, but then rewards back. It's, in, it's incredibly healthy. 
Um, but it's almost like this energy, I want to say, is perhaps put into a position where it can only wait. Like, it's like you're the little bee and that you buzz in. You buzz in. Maybe there's something significant about that. Like, I'm seeing somebody buzz in. Uh, what do you buzz in? Like, in an apartment building or something. Or a large building to get access, like a security. You buzz in. <laughs> buzz in. Um... Yeah, like this energy sits and waits. It's incredibly abundant, yet only through you. But you can only get abundance through this energy. This energy is somehow like isolated. It's isolated from you. This could be somebody who was in some type of a situation um, that was, you know, they could have even maybe something's happened in their family or um, they could have been in a, in a relationship and they were betrayed in that relationship and this person has been on their own. I don't like, you know, there's so much in this reading that feels like to me, like you're not physically even connecting with this person. But it's, it's odd because it feels like you are at least connecting with them energetically. But yeah, it's like you're the bee and it's waiting for you to buzz in. And it lights up the tree. It's like all those flowers. What's the point of the flowers unless they get pollinated and the whole process can can happen here and then you allow this whole process to happen and you receive the apples <laughs> the eight of wands and the ten of pentacles now it's funny because this almost feels like like the bee buzzing in like you just woof, your direction and it, and this abundance that you receive in that direction Let me do more what does this change? The Wheel of Fortune, too, is it just a seasonal change? It's just um, things, because you it's funny, right? Like you have this card between that sits between the moon and the sun in your autumn, right? And we have all the seasons in there. So there could be something actually specifically that's going to occur in the autumn. Maybe there's something happening right now because this Pisces card has come out. Maybe there's something that you're doing right now and you're going to be receiving quite a bit of reward for that in the autumn. And if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, maybe this is in the spring for you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? It landed on the Page of Swords, the Hanged Man. Oh. Well, that's okay. That's really interesting, too, because there's something I think there's something that you've done or something that you're going to do that you're not going to get. Um, you're not going to receive like the reward or the recognition or any indication even that something has grown that you're receiving something back from what you've done. Whatever that is that you've done here. What, why is Pisces here? Because it's almost like, you know, like the bee would go back. It's kind of like your trans... I'm seeing a shapeshifter energy. Like you were... You present as the bee. Your energy is symbolically the bee. You go in and you're just kind of like instinctively doing what you do. What comes natural to you. And in doing that, you pollinate like a tree, a tree of life. You activate... A branch in the tree of life but it is connected to another person or energy here you do what you do and then you you buzz away literally but it's almost like like well would the bee would the bee benefit from the apples they may as they fall from the tree right and then they start to decompose but even that whole process Wow, that's deep. That's deep as shit. Because even the whole process, even if the bee, I know wasps would come and eat. And I guess perhaps they could pollinate the tree. Because you do still, you benefit greatly from whatever this autumn harvest energy is. Right? And even if it's not eating the flesh of the apple, it is the seeds of that apple, which were all created because you went in and you did or you're doing something right now. 
that pollinates this tree those seeds will grow into new trees so it it's like right like it shows you that whatever you're doing you're doing it you're in the cycle you're in you're connected to the cycle of life here perfectly okay what came out with it the seven of wands I don't know why that came out. I was so busy talking. I think I was going to look at the Pisces energy. Oh, whoa. Check this out. Okay, you see how he's holding his the wand with all of the flowers on the end? And it's almost like other people are coming out too, but they've got flowers. It's like, well, no. I'm keeping those away because I don't need more flowers. The tree, like, right? This is like this masculine energy of the tree. And it has all the flowers out. No, I don't need more flowers. Like, it's trying to keep away. It's almost as if other energies perhaps come towards this masculine. Masking like the masculine. Or at least thinking, oh, the masculine displays like this. So I'm going to show up like that. And no, no, the masculine's looking for the bee. But there's also something almost like shameless in terms of, I mean, if you ever see plants, plants with their flowers, they're totally, like, they don't have time to have any sort of, like, human shame about what they do, or they're just, like, they put it out there. They put their piston and stamen out there, and they're like, see me, see me, right? And in, in some ways, that is almost, it is really interesting, because that is, does feel, like, very masculine, like, the flower is very sexual, and it just, like, sh almost, yeah, shows it, and then the little bee just, goes around, like, it's, uh, something very spiritual, but also, like, there's the rhythm of nature in this reading that has been picked up so strong, and, and because of that, I feel like, like, it's, it's, I feel like this is kind of, echoing a bit of that you're on target I don't even remember what the context of that reading was it was just like you were on target to something right um because this is it's like you're in the rhythm you're in the right rhythm here of life and spirituality or you've combined them perfectly okay the tree this tree energy the nine of swords Wow, the Empress, the Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. All oh, these flowers, there they are again. Sorry, I'm caught up in this artwork. You can see again, like this Ten of Wands is carrying all those wands. And again, one wand. It's almost like taking all the other wands away. There's an energy that's trying to bring you back to the tree, whatever the tree symbolizes. It's something to do with this, this Mr. Smith. It can't, it's like it can't move, but it's a tree. Of course it can't move, but it's the masculine energy. But again, if we think about it and how nature works, like all those little bees are feminine, but yet they're very active. Why is the hermit? The five of cups, the eight of cups, and the two of cups. Well, this is an energy that has been extremely disappointed in some relationship here. Um, how do you know, Mr. Smith? The star. It's like, it's a blessing, some type of blessing. Uh, this person could be in the public eye as well. The star. How do you know, Mr. Smith? The star. I don't know, maybe there's someone famous? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody famous in their own right here. Um, 
mm, you know, like depending on like a town that you live in, this person could be well known for something. Um, but the star also symbolizes like a divine blessing. Uh, there's something that's happened here in like this person's relate like I would say relationship status going from the ten of cups to the ten of swords and then the hermit five of cups even being like very sad and depressed eight of cups not even being emotionally available or connected to other things but then the two of cups and this is that energy where you know the bee comes in. it's very much two of cups what I've been describing how these energies um give and reciprocate back and forth to one another Woman, woman, the queen of swords. I mean, adding that with Pisces, it just feels like a really, of uh, somebody who's quite intellectual, um, both sort of through obvious reasoning and um, spiritual as well. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Like, it's a really unique reading. Why, how, in what way do you have the key? <clears throat> the King of Wands. It's <laughs> funny, because you have the Knight of Wands the Page of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, right? There's like that sense of this, um, d this drive. Oh, look at all it, <laughs> this one. All the flowers have really like blossomed out. <laughs> all the flowers have really, really blossomed. Yes, the Six of Wands. Oh, the Eight of Wands. There it goes again. The Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Oh, gosh, guys. Like, you're really on target to something. <laughs> I don't understand it fully because it's a very spiritual reading. Um, like, the specific context of this it could be very different for all of you, but the spiritual context, I'm hoping is obvious to you and what I've picked up here. Um, I'm going to go do the extended. I think with the extended, um, I'm going to I'm going to work with the same decks and I'm going to see how these energies continue to transform and um, yeah, cha transform and change uh, moving as the energy kind of moves forward. So we'll see what that is. And there you go. Thank you so much, collectives, peoples. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.